Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba, and today I'm going to take you through on Tecla Structural Designer. So, if you take a look on the screen here, you can see I have a, a display or a user interface. This is for Tecla Structural Designer. And one might wonder, how did I get to this? How I got, I got to this is by double, click, double clicking on the icon on the desktop, on your desktop for Tecla Structural Designer. This will take you straight here. So, the point where newcomers normally get confused and uh, Tecla Structural Designer, the moment you double click and open uh, the window of this user interface you see on the screen here, you see on the toolbars here, you have every, we have now everything is grayed off, means nothing is active except new. So you might wonder where do I start from? Do I go to window? This is not applicable here. So if I come to home here, this is where I'll be able to get this tool here called new. Or you can just press Control New and you access, you access you you activate all the tools that will be on the toolbar here or on the menu bar here. So if I click on New here, if I click on the New, you'll see it will try to load everything. So you, you can see we are being told to to wait. So we've waited enough and everything is active. So if we go back to this user interface, or if you go back, if you go to to toolbars here you can see under home we have all these tools available under home and if you go to beam integration we have the tools all the tools available under beam integration same to model same applies to edit same applies to load same applies to analyze and more tools under design slab deflection uh, foundation reports draw and window so in our case we are, uh, we are handling we are most of the tools we are going to use is under home and the model and also design. So we'll move. We'll be moving in in, in in a sequential manner, a part one, part two, and part three, until we get to the final end. Now, under home, we have two ways here. If you open Tecla, if you open Tecla Structural Designer, there are two ways. You can create a new model by coming to 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 model here and come to a grid line here. If you click on that, you'll be able to create your own grid. You create the grid in Tecla Structural Designer. And there's another way where the architect sends you a plan of this of, of this building so that you you put it, you bring it into Tecla Structural Designer and, and perform analysis of the whole structure or you, you redesign and, 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 and analyze and generate a report. The two ways. Now, to today, we want to import or bring in a drawing from AutoCAD already converted into D DFX because if uh, even the tech, uh, even the architect will first of all convert the plan into DX DX file, then he or she will send you so that you can bring it into Tecla Structural Designer and now try and uh, remodel and uh, perform the analysis. In our case, I have a plan here. You can see the plan from AutoCAD here. I have a plan here. You can see this is the plan I have, and this has to be has to be converted into DXF, not DWG. So to convert that is very simple, uh, and I think I've shared that on how you can convert your drawing into DXF. You just come to save. You just come to save us. So the moment you come to save us here, we have options here. You can pick. Uh, the less, uh, latest version of DX, DXF, and you can save that as a DX file there. So I had done this previously, so I'll just go ahead back, I'll just go back to my Tecla Structural Designer. And another thing I'm, I'm forgetting, the moment you, um, you click New, and the, the new window uploads, you have two tabs here. We have a 3D tab. This, these are two different visualization of your model. We have one under 2D and one under 3D. So once you've done so, the next thing you are supposed to do is to define the levels of your uh, building. How high will be your slab interval height from zero level to the, the first floor, to the second floor, all the way to your prefer to you to the end of uh, last floor. Now in this particular case, we want to define the uh, the levels of our building in this particular case. So. To do that, I'll come to model, then come to construction levels here. So under this dialog box here, you can see construction levels here. We have, by default, we have top of foundation uh, row here. So we can add one below. So the, the below one will define uh, the depth of our foundation. So in here, I'll just double click in here and try to feed in my dimension. So the depth of my foundation will be negative 
1.2 right there. So remember, it is it is a meters, and you can see the slab is is graduated or or or, or is labeled uh, millimeters. So our slab will be uh, uh, will be measured in millimeters. Now, going down the foundation, that will be negative. 1.2 going up uh, to zero level from the from the far end coming up the, that will be positive movement now that will remain here as 1.2 now we, we want to add another flow so the, our first row will be 3.2 so 3.2 remember this has to come back to 1.2 because uh this is the zero zero level from the bottom end of our foundation so up here the first row of uh, our first flow will be 3.2 will fit, fit in at 3.2 and that will label that as top of slab let's just put everything top of slab now we add another flow on top of this so it will be slightly higher than 3.2 so we add same height 3.2 so we add another flow above by 3.2 so this time we add the two so that they become 6.4 so this will be 6.4 right right there so that's how it is now i will add another flow right there and that one will become 9.6 right there so in all these these uh these has slabs and the thickness of slabs of the slab has to be defined so we'll come here and try and uh and try and add the thickness thickness of the slabs so what we want to do is to define all that let's let's try that top of top of the slab top of the slab and top of the slab uh, i mean structural structural slab level structural slab level right there so in here we'll be able to define we'll be able to define the thickness of the slab so in here we just feed 150 millimeter all through 150 millimeter right there and 150 millimeter right there and 150 millimeter right here and we have the thickness of our slabs here so that's how you define the various height of your of your of your structure so the moment you're done so just go ahead and click okay so the moment you click okay this will be remember we are working on the 3d uh, uh tab so let's uh, move to the next uh, part two where we'll be, we'll pull in uh, the dx dx file dx file into our user interface so that we'll be able to uh, move further so let me then bye bye and don't forget to subscribe to this channel